since we talked about resumes a couple of weeks ago, I thought I might stick with the theme of things we can do to make sure we make the right first impression. Just like a good resume, how we dress for an interview or to, to go to a meeting at the office, well, it says a lot about us. People do notice stuff like that. My staff, and by staff I really mean Amber, has been talking a lot about some kind of a TikTok video where people film their hashtag OOTD. That's outfit of the day for those of us that don't communicate via hashtags. In these videos, the person on screen tells you where they purchased each article of clothing and accessories that they're wearing. Well, since you're probably wondering, this shirt is from Riviera Fashions, the tie from Brooks Brothers, the suit, Riviera, the shoes are from Alan Edmonds, my glasses are Costa Del Mar. I still don't understand why that's so entertaining to Amber. I'm not saying you have to be all caught up on your wardrobe like what you see on TikTok, but all of the hashtag OOTD talk around the office did get me to thinking about the way we dress and the old adage that you should dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Now remember, this isn't literal advice. If it were, I'd probably be wearing fishing waders every day. You know, I guess I did get to wear some fishing waders here one time. You ever feel like you're fishing for a new opportunity, but you just can't catch anything? Oh man, that was a good day. Anyway, back to the program. Here's the thing. Even though it's not literal, the philosophical foundation behind the old saying is a good one. It's not really about the specific clothes you're wearing or where they came from, but about your attention to detail in making sure your wardrobe matches the job you're doing and the people with whom you're working. Your wardrobe will also help highlight the confidence you show in the performance of your job. Little things too, like wrinkle-free shirts and shine shoes, reinforce how people feel about both your competence and your confidence. Those are things that will always get noticed. I've had a lot of different jobs. When I was a cook in a truck stop, I certainly didn't wear a suit like this one to work. But I already had an inkling the jobs I might want someday would probably require me to wear a suit and tie to the office. And while I don't wear my apron from the truck stop kitchen over my suit at this office, it does help me remember that no matter what work you're doing, it's important to your future and the future of Texas. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, not just a good day.